<clears throat> Hello, my name is Jorge Escobar, and I am going to do a, a Luis Barragan presentation. So be ready. Okay, so Luis Barragan was born in 1902 in Guadalajara, Mexico, and he um, he was uh, actually uh, had a very interesting um, upbringing because he was not always an architect or an uh, a designer from his youth. He started to become a an, an engineer. Actually, he started his career off as an engineer, and once he um, got his um, his title at the age of twenty three, he um, kind of decided to start his architectural um, path of a way of life, if you will. And um, it's very interesting because uh, he was kind of a self, um, a self-made architect, you know, self-taught. And this is kind of a kind of rare or um, not as common in uh, Latin America for um, these um architects to come come to be and have um especially having um extremely high education as uh Luis Barragan did but at the same time Luis Barragan is um as is of a uh, higher socioeconomic um uh class than um uh, most other um uh, latino uh latin american people and um that's uh, and that's the that's how it is hard truth <laughs> so um Luis Barragan, he's a uh, very, uh, very uh, accomplished um, designer and architect, and he kind of started his journey when he um, decided to go to Europe. And once he became, once he uh, had the opportunity to go to Europe, he um, he just uh, took took off. He had to do it. So once he was in Europe, he went to uh, France, uh, Paris specifically to go see some of the um, the big shot architects at the time making um, these huge speeches and um, that um, were centered around architecture and design. And at the time it was pretty much the, um, the start of, of the uh, modernist move movement throughout the world and what it means to be uh, progressing in this modern uh, modern day um, I mean within modernity is essentially and um, Barragan didn't just stop at Paris he also went to um, to Spain and uh, consequentially from Spain learning uh, about the Mediterranean culture um, between Spain, Spain and Morocco and how the the um, the region kind of kind of shaped the way uh, design is um, centered on cent design is centered based off of the region and the people rather than uh, the design um, imposing itself onto the region and to the people. So I mean that that is kind of what uh, modernism is, and I feel like that is where um, Luis Barragan kind of like um diverts from the uh eurocentric western um idea of modernity and modernism and this is very important because this uh shapes the way uh Baragan kind of um shapes his philosophy into it and and in this quote he says i believe that architects should design gardens to be used as much as the houses they build to, to develop a sense of beauty and the taste and inclination towards the fine arts and other spiritual values. Any work of architecture which does not express serenity is a mistake. And that is what uh, Baragan's um, agenda is. This is uh, Luis Baragan in um, one of his other president studies, uh, it is uh, San Cristobal. You will see this. I will um, show this in uh, in a bit. And these are kind of kind of his uh, sketches that kind of show um, his playful uh, nature of um, of space and planes, and also with color and how that interacts with the uh, human experience. 
the first uh, prison study is Casa Gilardi, and Casa Gilardi is uh, located in Mexico City. And uh, this was actually one of his final projects that he's worked on before he passed away, unfortunately. And this is a originally designed to be a bachelor's pad or studio for Gilardi and Luque. And they are a um, just just uh, just two young uh, two young men that kind of like were friends, and they kind of occupied the space, but not as much. So it was more of like a um, low occupancy um, level of a space, and it was really um, interesting how how um, how uh, Baragan kind of designed this because it was meant to be a um, kind of just like a bachelor's pad or a studio. And the use of lights, especially, is kind of ties back into his philosophy. Um, the use of light and the color kind of just like illuminates this uh, interior space and kind of guides you to um, the main show, star of the show, which is the water, the water feature, which is the little pool within this uh, prison study. And this is a very uh, important um aspect within it because it is a uh, part of nature and that is what nature is um main a main part of nature is water uh the next uh prison study is cuadra san cristobal and this is also in uh, mexico city but it's a private property so we cannot go check that out uh the project was completed in 1967 it is a functional living space that is accommodated that accommodates both humans and horses at the same time. This is like a, one of those uh, huge ranch um, uh, rural um, areas. So there is a lot of space. Um, naturally, there would be livestock and other, in this case, uh, horses to kind of just help out the daily uh, usage of uh, whoever is living here, the occupants. And um, this um, also kind of encompasses a lot of what nature, how um, the relationship between the built environment and nature. And uh, Luis Barragan kind of just kind of mixes these two together, even though the planes are very, um, very um, uh, heavy and strong, they become lighter with the, with the use of the color and kind of playful with how uh, the human experience is with nature and the buildings and also with the water as well. And over here is another gate for the horses and livestock to kind of pass through and traverse. And this is uh, this is the building in action. <laughs> As you can see, the horses being uh, moved on from one place to another. And that kind of just shows like how this is meant to be a functional um, space rather than a uh, just a space that is just there just to be there. This kind of like ties back into um, modernism and Le Corbusier's idea of uh, functionality and the, the mechanic uh, design or the mechanic being, you know, this is like kind of very different because this is allowing the human to um, experience and to kind of traverse through it, not in a mechanical way, but also but in a playful way that interacts with not just um, their own experience, but with others like livestock and nature and whoever is going to share that space as well pretty much the region which i uh, mentioned before when he had um when he was inspired with the mediterranean um culture and design work okay the final uh president study is from one of his uh, earlier works it is uh his own personal house Actually, it is uh, Luis Barragan's Casa Estudio, and this is also in uh, Mexico City, kind of by in uh, in Jalisco. And uh, this is uh, originally um, his uh, place of um, humble abode. <laughs> this is where he lived, and uh, now it is a museum. The the state of uh, Jalisco kind of uh, curated to um, house all of his uh, earlier works and um some memoirs and all that other uh good stuff and this building is a uh, very um colorful and the very once you look at it, the facade is very um uneventful but trust me once you uh walk into it it is a uh colorful a and playful um space to be in and very interactive as well as you can see the lighting of it is just all just uh extremely interactive especially 
their the color and how like the color enhances the light or you can say vice versa the light enhances the color i feel like this is kind of what one, one of um um baragan's a huge um uh con concept is is kind of like how to make a space warm and how to um kind of create a very uh welcoming space as well and it is the use of color and lighting and and um just to to enhance the human experience and this kind of just ties it into the culture of where he's from in latin america where it, everything is very um welcoming people are welcoming when you go to their house to their home it's a very intimate space and it's something that you would like to treasure and share with the other person and over here this is a this is a uh, a perfect example of uh, his philosophical idea of having a space that uh, focuses on nature and how to reconnect with nature and to kind of like to push the boundary of, of what modernism is. And I feel like this idea of like pushing the boundary of modernism and how to uh, decolonize is uh, very important. And I'm pretty sure Luz Baragan probably didn't have that in mind of how to decolonize but this is a definitely um a step forward of of the mundane um western ideologies of kind of produce produce and just mainly production and not having any uh relationship with the the region or the nature and how that can be detrimental to uh, a human's health and not just um, physical health, but also mental health. And this um, is kind of combating that. And whether it is intentional or unintentional, I can see um, where this is, uh, where he's going with all of this. And I really do appreciate um, all of his, um, his input in this. So thank you very much for uh, listening to uh, myself and the, my presentation on, um, Luis Baragan. This was uh, very interesting, very fun, and it was a great time doing this. Thank you very much.